Today we are here with students of Cascade High School and we're doing a beach cleanup to remove the trash, but we are actually working and discussing uh, what plastics and microplastics do to our environment. All these service projects are student developed and they've decided what direction they want to go and one student, uh, they wanted to do something about whales and so they found this group called Orca Conservancy and called them up. They just called them in the, on the phone in class and got connected and that's led to a number of different projects including this beach cleanup, uh, selling bracelets to help with orca conservation and cleaning up plastics in the ocean and it's been all student driven. They've made the phone calls, they've made the emails, they've made the contacts, they've organized the events, they've gotten volunteers. It's wonderful to see. We're trying to teach the students of Cascade High School to be aware of plastics in our environment. Plastics are used internationally. What happens is when they're thrown away, they get into the ocean, they break down into microplastic. And then microplastics um, go into our food web and start at the very beginning and go through the entire ecosystem. So when smaller fish are eating the plastic, salmon particularly can eat the smaller fish and then our southern resident killer whales uh, potentially are eating salmon that's full of plastic. at your level. Everybody can do something. Right today, we've cleaned up trash on Jetty Island. That's not saving the world, but it's cleaning up this particular, this part of the environment. And, and they're learning that they can do their little piece. So everybody can do something. 